What's up YouTube? Jeff, your style OG. And on today's video, we're gonna talk about how you can make your cologne last a lot longer. If you're new to the channel, we're releasing a video every day at 4 p.m. Eastern discussing various men's lifestyle topics such as style, grooming, and dating. I invite you to subscribe and tap the notification bell and join us. And to my returning friends like Graylin Myers, salute. Now, just like a lot of you guys out there, I'm sure can attest to, being a cologne wearing man can get very costly. I'm talking about when you're spending anywhere from 20 to hundreds of bucks on the fragrances, the money adds up. That's why with today's video, I want to share with you a bunch of hacks that I've acquired over the years that'll help you get the most bang for your buck when wearing your colognes. Anywhere from making them last longer, or just using them in creative ways. And without further ado, let's just get into the hacks. Now first up on the list of ways to make that cologne last longer is to literally make the scent last longer. You do that by storing your colognes in a cool, dry place. You see, over time, heat and humidity breaks down your cologne, making it less potent. So if you're using a less potent scent, then the rest of these hacks just won't work as well. Next up on the list of ways to make your cologne last longer is knowing the different concentrations of cologne when you're out buying your fragrances. Here's what I mean. Generally speaking, men's cologne come in two different concentrations. Eau de Toilette, which is generally 5 to 10 percent perfume concentration, and Eau de Parfum, which is generally 10 to 20 percent concentration. Naturally, the Eau de Parfum has more perfume in it and it will last several hours longer. Now, the only caveat, it's going to be a little more expensive, but it will last you longer. Next up on the list of ways to make your cologne last longer is knowing the optimal time to apply your cologne. That being right after you get out of the shower. And that's for two reasons. One, your pores will be more open, letting the cologne seep into your skin. And secondly, the moisture on your skin also helps lock in the scent. Speaking of moisture, brings us to the next hack to make your cologne last longer. And that's applying an unscented lotion to your skin before applying your cologne. Same theory here. Just like the moisture from the shower makes the scent lock in, so does the moisture from the lotion making your cologne last longer throughout the day. Next up on the list of ways to make that cologne last longer is knowing where to apply the cologne. That being on your pulse points. What are pulse points? These are areas on your body that naturally emit heat that help diffuse the cologne all over your body throughout the day, making it last longer. Now these pulse points include behind your ears, the base of your neck, your chest, wrists, and elbows. Only pick one or two and apply the cologne there, making it last longer. Speaking of post points, brings us to the next hack to make your cologne last longer. And that's apply Vaseline to the post points you plan on spraying your cologne to. The reason why this works is that the Vaseline works very well locking the scent in. So combining the locking of the scent with the radiating heat from the post point really makes your cologne last longer. Next up on the list of hacks to make that cologne last longer is the one to use when you know your cologne's not gonna last throughout the day, but you wanna reapply it without having to drag the whole bottle with you. Here's what you do. Take a couple of cotton balls, or what I use is these makeup removal, not makeup removal for me, it's part of my skincare routine, don't get funny. However, spray a couple of these, drop them in a sandwich bag. Throw the sandwich bag in your book bag, briefcase, gym bag, Reapply later on, voila, your cologne lasts the rest of the night. Next up on our list of cologne wearing hacks is the one to use when you have a real strong cologne you love, but you don't want it to be overpowering that day. That's when I allow you to break one of my cardinal rules of applying cologne, and that's doing a spray in the air and walk through it. You can use that technique when you want to wear that potent cologne, but you want to tone it down just a little bit. Next up on the list of cologne wearing hacks is the one to use when you're almost out. You spray and nothing comes out of the bottle. No problem, we let nothing go to waste around here. Open the bottle up, pour what's in there in an unscented lotion bottle, apply that lotion. Voila, you use the last bit of the cologne in the bottle. Next up on the list of cologne wearing hacks is the way to come up with your own custom scent. You do that with a technique called layering. Here's how it works. If you're someone who has several different colognes, Try a couple of them at the same time on your skin to see if they complement each other. If they do, give them a try, see how you like it. But here's what you wanna do. Spray the stronger one first and then complement it with the lighter one. That way the stronger one doesn't overpower the lighter one. Now you have your own custom scent that nobody else has. 
And last but not least, for our final cologne wearing hack today, is a subtle way to have your clothes and your towels smell amazing. That's by lining your dresser drawer with tissue paper or your linen closet. Apply a little cologne to it. That way, when you put your clothes on and use your towels, they'll smell amazing. Okay, so there you have it. My list of cologne wearing hacks. Let us know in the comment section if you feel like I left any useful ones out. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, hit that like button. It helps the channel to grow. And of course, tap that notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos we release every day at 4 p.m. Eastern. And I'll see you tomorrow.